So does it feel like a little deja vu right now with all the COVID stuff? Yeah, yeah, that's back. It's about, yeah, we got some break. Uh, we, we need some rest and, and get ready for next games. Do you, is there a little bit of frustration, I guess, like almost here we go again? It's like, yeah, we can't control it. It's like, uh, it's part of our lives now and, and only thing what we can do is just respect it and, and just uh, try to avoid it as much as we can. But when, how I see it, it's hitting all of us. So it's just, how I said, part of their lives and, and we have to try to, way, try to find a way how to live with it. For you guys in particular, when you think about it in 2019-20, when, when play was suspended, you guys were on a roll. You guys were playing some of your best hockey and yeah. now, this awesome start to the season that you've had, yeah. COVID is again interrupting it. Is it, does it almost just feel like it's difficult to get things rolling because of, because of it? It's just how I said, we would still have a break now and, and we can look at it like that because other teams also have a break. It's just when we get back to playing games, we just have to be 100% ready and, and just do what we were doing first half. But when we were winning, so uh, how I said, we we need to go out from the ring now for a couple of days, and and then when we get back, we have to be ready. Phil, you, you had you had COVID last season. Are you? How do you feel about it personally? And guys who have, do you feel like are you scared? Like when you see what's happening around the league, guys getting it, are you guys scared or not scared? You know what I mean. But are you, yeah. are you nervous about it, or are you just you know whatever happens happens? Uh, not not that much. Just try to, how I said, just try to. I'm 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 respecting that. Uh, I'm respecting that because you never know what can happen. Even when when you're vaccinated, you never know. Just when it's when it's about me, it's like just I'm not focusing on it. Just try to live the life like before, but still have something in the head that I have to be a little more careful now and and all the all the rules what, what we have now but it's more like about the family because you can control it they're too far away from from me and and you can you can see them so they're just a little bit about them but otherwise if it's about me I'm just not scared just just try to try to do the rules what we have but when having had it you have more of a respect for it now you know what i mean you say you have to respect it yeah because you respect it more because you had it or or are you no not just because you had it you know it's it's less of a big deal just just overall it's uh i had it last year uh i know i didn't feel i i didn't feel very good i didn't have a lot of sy symptoms but still uh I don't want to be out just because of because of the COVID. I don't want to be out 14 days or how many it is now in protocol, and and I want to be on the ice and play. So that's why I do all this stuff. What I have to do to be to be ready to play hockey. Speaking of being out, you know, you you missed missed the game last week. Um, we haven't talked to you since, so. Can you share with us any anything that you know how you felt about not playing in that game, or what what coaches may have told you about you not playing in that game, what they wanted from you, anything anything you can share with us? It's just that's bad. I didn't play. Just I want to be on ice all the time, and when I missed the game, just I was watching the game uh, from the stands. Uh, I'm happy that we got two points from that game, but. I don't want to be sitting on a stand. I want to be on the ice, and it's just that, that was probably uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. Just happy that we won, and next game I was back. It, uh, and you came back, and you played on the wing. Yep. So can you talk about? I mean, I know you played on the wing when you your first year. Uh, I know you you are a center. How was that playing on the? Yeah, just after a long time, the last time was playing wing on World Championship last year, one game, but that's uh, 
it's still hockey. You do little adjust for that for that role, uh, for little habits. What you have from a center, you have to play a little different on the wing, but otherwise it's still hockey. Still, when I'm on the ice, I want. I always said I want to play as much as I can. Uh, and if I'll be playing, if it's gonna be on a center or wing, it's just doesn't matter. Just play and and help the team to win games. Did getting scratched in that Arizona game make you step back and, and look at your game a little bit differently? I still thinking about it the same same way. Just how I said before, I think this is my best season. How I'm playing, just. I have so many chances, just need to score, just need to put the puck more to the net, but I said I, I'm working hard on that every day, it's just part of the process and and of course I'm studying the game every day, uh, even if, when, when I'm not playing, I'm looking at uh, other top players in the league and and when I come to the rings, I try to try some things to apply to my game, but just working hard as uh, as much as I can and and be and like I said it's just the, it's it's the process. Were you, were you surprised? Like <laughs> you said you've been playing well, so were you surprised? When I didn't like I said I, this is my I didn't say this I play well. I said this is my, so far my best season when I'm playing, but I didn't say last couple of games maybe wasn't the best, but. But yeah, just that was coach's decision and not mine. Do you feel like you have a little bit extra motivation to you know keep a hold on your spot in the lineup? Of course, it's motivated me, even not just because I was scratched, but it, it's motivating. It what motivates me to play more, play more minutes. And how I said when I play more minutes, I feel more comfortable out there. Uh, when you have one or two more shifts every game, that always helps. So, so, yeah, just that motivates me to play more and and even work harder. You, you guys shut down for the next X number of days. What do you guys do? Like, what are you gonna do for Christmas? And you know, I mean, you have to be careful over Christmas or anything like that. Just spend time with my girlfriend here and and enjoy the time off. Uh, of course. Uh, still need to work, work in a gym, but yeah, still enjoy the time off and and switch off, switch off the head from the hockey a little bit. Would you usually try to see family, or obviously because of COVID, I'm sure that makes it harder. But would you usually try to see family, or you usually just stay here? Stay here. That's only three days, so that's too much traveling and and just take a call with them uh, and that's nice that's nice to hear them and see them at least at the phone or the FaceTime otherwise of course that would be nicer to have them here and and be with them but at least I'm happy I have a girlfriend here and and she's helping me a lot and, and she's taking care of me a lot. Did they used to come over for Christmas before? before this? They've been here once before on Christmas and, and that was two years ago. Well, enjoy it, man. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.